Miguel, <laughs> we're here in New York City, and you're living in a homeless youth center. You're homeless. Tell me about being a homeless youth in New York City. Um, sometimes it could get difficult. Um, sometimes? A lot of times. Yeah. It, it could get difficult um, trying to keep, you know, uh, my head on my shoulders, especially when, you know, I was being, you know, raised in, in poverty of where I was at. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I try to keep my head up and strive for the best, you know what I'm saying? So um, how did you end up, you know, being homeless, being out on the streets without family? Um, I, I was taken away from my mother at eight years old. Uh, I was put in foster care and I came out for uh, three years. Meanwhile, when I was in, I, I transferred, you know, place to place about 10, 10, 13 times. So you were in foster care at eight years old. Yes. For three years until 10. Well, I mean, uh, until 11. 11 right, right. Yeah. And you're in almost 10 different places. Yes. In three years. Yeah. That's crazy. Yes, it is. Yeah. How does how does a kid develop? Um, yeah. I can't really, you know, say, you know, how, but best to believe, you know, uh, right. I, you know, I skipped my childhood. You know what I'm saying? But um, in and out of foster homes. In and in and out of foster right. homes. So you're 11, 12. I get back home, and my mom's staying with the guy that broke my arm. That you know sent me to school that day when I was eight years old, and so I ran away from home. Um, I moved to California, uh, still with my aunt out there for a little while. Came back, went down south. Uh, I thought I was gonna meet my father for once, and. The guy, you know, that happened to supposedly be my father ended up telling me he wasn't my father. So I came back to New York and my mom got me locked up. We wasn't really on, you know, good terms. Um, I did a little bit of juvenile time for that. Well, you did something wrong though, right? An argument. Yeah? <laughs> arguing with her and, you know, she called police and told them that I threatened her. And it's crazy because I didn't, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But it is what it is. I, I did a little bit of juvenile time. And um, I came out and came straight to the Covenant House, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm doing everything I got to do. All right. Yeah. Now, we were talking earlier, it's, you know, like I say, my homelessness was the worst and best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. And you are talking, you know, doing juvie and some other things is the worst and best things that happened. Yeah. Want to talk about that? Um, I, I, I can agree with you. Um, you know, some of the best things that happened to me, I'm, it made me, you know, become a very independent young man. Um, I'm smart, you know what I'm saying? Not only book smart, but, you know, street smart so I could right. move around, you know. I know how to see everything for what it is. And um, sometimes, at the end of the day, it was, you know, it was, it was worse for me because I didn't have a father figure in my life. Um, my, mother, my mother, who happened to be my only, you know, mother and father figure that I had, ended up, you know, backstabbing me, you know, and now, yeah, that was my worst times, but I try to overlook it, you know what I'm saying? And my worst times ended up being my best times, you know what I'm saying? Because it turned me into right. who I am now. So, um, you're 18. Yes, 18. So, the past was kind of crazy. Yeah. And here you are, and what's your future like? Because, you know, bro, we just met, we spent a what half an hour hour talking yeah just about. i think you're gonna do great yeah um i box um i go to school i'm training for next year's um golden gloves yeah. um i'm getting put into uh mendez for uh shows this summer so yeah you know what i'm saying i go to school now what are you taking um, in school um right now I'm, I'm i'm working on my on my uh gd good and I just got a job, Toys R Us. I start working them all. It's oh my cool. gosh, Christmas season with Toys R Us. Yep, yep. You ready for that? That might be worse than Juby. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's overnight, but yeah. I mean, no, I'm man, in team with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it gives you. Oh man, it's great, man. <laughs> yeah, it's totally yeah. awesome. But uh, in a couple years, I hope you know everybody could look at me and I'll become you know a famous professional boxer one day. Go. go for the golden gloves and I'm going to keep going to the top. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to get your autograph. <laughs> yeah. So if you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes, what would they be? Um, to have somebody, uh, you know, support me during my times when I was really down. And 
uh, to meet Oscar De La Hoya to put me into a fight <laughs> so I could really show off my skills. And um, I say, uh, wish the world wasn't <laughs> as messed up as it is now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Well, thank you very much. It was an honor to meet you, and thank you very much for taking the time. Likewise. Thank you. You're awesome. Cool. <laughs>